So let's get the DHCP server installed on our server here. So you can see that I'm already inside of the uh, server manager application. And if you need to launch it, it's just a matter of uh, launching it right from the start menu. So uh, to get the HTTP installed, we just run the add roles and features wizard, and it's just going to be this link right here. And we can we can skip the, the first page. Uh, and since we are doing a role-based installation, we're going to leave the default one here checked as well. And for the server selection, it defaults to just the local server. And since that's what we're doing here, we're going to leave that. This is where we just want to check mark uh, DHCP server here. And then it's also going to ask us if we want to install the management tools. Assuming you're going to be managing DHCP from your server, you'll want to install them, but you can manage it remotely using remote server admin tools if you'd like. So we hit next. Let's, we're not going to install any features. And uh, this is where it's just letting us know that we need to make sure we have a static IP set. And then we've got our subnets, scopes, and exclusions all figured out. And we don't set them here yet. Uh, and of course, it's going to ask us to confirm. There's no restart necessary, so I'm going to leave the restart destination server automatically boxed unchecked. Go ahead and hit install. Now that the DHCP server is finished installing, we just want to select the complete DHCP configuration. And this is where we can actually set up the groups and uh, and authorize the server. And so to, to be able to authorize the server, make sure you're using a domain admin user account. And that's what I've what I've got here. And the only reason you need to do AD authorization is if your DHCP server is operating inside of an Active Directory domain. In my case, it is. But if it is not, it does not need to be AD authorized. And you can just select the skip AD authorization. So I'm going to and attempt to create that here. And then it's just telling us we need to restart it. So once we restart it, we'll be good to go. And then you can check out the rest of the snips we have on managing your DHCP server.